Okay, happy Monday. Um, we're going to start in uh, fluid pressure um, on page 278 to 281. And so in this section, what it basically talks about is it talks about pressure that you can use for fuel that will, sorry, which that will have you do use machines and other things. Um, in this chapter, as you can look on uh, my one pager, and as you can tell, my one pagers are sometimes one, sometimes two, depending on what it is. So what I did is this time I put my definitions in pink and my formulas in brown. So it says pressure is the magnitude of force on a surface per unit area. So pressure, P, equals force divided by area. SI units for Pascal, units for pressure is Pascals, equals one Newton per meter square. Pressure sea level is at 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. Normal pressure is one ATM. 10.5 Pascals equals one ATM, which equal, which a tire has 3.50 ATM. And the Pascal principle is the increased pressure it distributes throughout. So the Pascal principle is F divided by A, and these are different ones that you can do. This is Pascal's principle. This is the output force. As long as you know that the input force applied over a longer distance. And then it gives us a sample problem on page um, number... <clears throat> page 279. So what it says here, it says the surface of the planet Jupiter believes to be a constant liquid hydrogen. Above the surface lies a thick atmosphere that exerts a pressure of 1.0 times 10 to the seventh pascals on Jupiter's surface. If the total force exerted on the atmosphere is 6.41 times 10 to 23rd Newtons, what is the area of Jupiter. So the only thing that we have to do here, first of all, check our mode. We want to take it out of degrees, which mine was. Check mine again. I'm all good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do alpha y enter 6.41 times 10 caret 23 down 1.00 times 10 caret 7 over over enter and I get 6.41 times 10 to the sixth so let's go ahead and um, let's go over the problems that we had for uh, that section so the first problem says that a car lift is compressed to an area extended the force of a piston with a radius of five centimeters the pressure is transmitted in the second piston with a radius of 15 meters. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have to, first of all, find our force 1. So what they do is they just give you the way that they break it down to find out the equation that we're going to use, which we're going to use this one here. And then we're going to go from there. I'm sorry, it says how large of a force must be compressed the air exerted a lift at 1.3 times 10 to the 4. That gives us our four, our second force. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do alpha y enter. There we go. So we're going to do alpha y enter and we're going to do open bracket 1.33 times 10 caret 4 over close bracket open bracket 0 0.500 close bracket and I need to square it okay down and now I'm going to take this uh, 0 0.150 0.150 close bracket square that over enter and I get 14 in a big huge number right so now what I want to do is I want to go through and I want to change my mode to scientific because that is a good answer and you could put it here but I like a scientific answer better so that is 1.48 times 10 to the third so then the next question asks us 
It says uh, for B, it says what pressure produces the force negative from the weight of the piston. So on this one, we're going to go through and we're going to try to find an area. So we're going to do alpha y enter, excuse me, alpha y enter, and we're going to do 5.0 down 9, 9, 9.6 times 10 carat 3 over over enter and I get 5.2 times 10 to the negative 4. So number 3, uh, number 2 says a ball strikes a pavement with a force of 5.0 newtons. The pressure exerted the pavement at 9.6 times 10 to the third. What is the contact with the pavement? And that's what I just did right there. So I want to go back to 2. 2 says what pressure produces the force? Neg neglect the weight of the piston. This time I'm going to use this formula here, which is alpha y enter. And that is 1.33 times 10 carat 4 down. I'm going to do open bracket and I'm going to do pi close bracket open bracket, point one five zero, close bracket, and I'm going to square it. And that gives me 1.8 times 10 to the fifth um, Pascals. So let's go on to three now. So number three says, and I'm going to skip everything. It says the force exerted on the atmosphere of the surface of mercury, reservoir equals the weight of the mercury in the column. If the mercury column is 70, 760 millimeters of mercury, and remember in chemistry, when we used this, we did MMHG, right, for millimeters of mercury, of, of the surface, which the atmosphere pressure over mercury, use 13.6 times 10 to the third kilometer to density of mercury. So I have this. This is telling me the density, which is the pressure, and I'm going to use gravity for my next one. So then the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take 13.6 times 10 carat 3, okay, close bracket, and then I'm going to do, um, let me go back here and clear that here. Oop. Let me go back up, oh. over, three, over, close bracket, sorry guys, 9.81, close bracket, open bracket, 7.60 times 10 to the carat negative three. So the only thing I'm doing is I'm taking the 760 tor and I'm just changing it into um, meters because these are all in meters. And if I hit enter, I get 1.03 times 10 to the fifth kilopascal. pascal. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the rest of the calculations. The rest of the calculations, the only other thing that it talks about, it talks about the pressure varies with the depths of the fluid. So if the fluid is the same, we're using this. But if the fluid is different, we need to use this equation here. And then also, this right here is where we have absolute pressure equal atmospheric pressure times density times free fall acceleration times depth. All right, guys, so now what I know what I'm doing is I'm actually causing you to go back and look at your information if you have it wrong and making you watch the video but the main reason why I'm doing that for is because I want to make sure that you know how to do this so that when we have the test in a couple of days you will do well just want to let you know I miss you and I hope you have a great day